Hi there, I'm Amelia Caudry and I'm an oceanographic scientist at HR Wallingford. Oceanography is the study of the seas. It's all the bits of geography that focus on the ocean and it includes everything from the marine life to the waves, currents, tides, through to the underlying seabed and how all these different systems link together. I study the impacts that waves and tides have at wind farms which have been built out at sea. These wind turbine structures, which produce renewable energy from the wind, are often built tens of kilometers out at sea. The structures which support the turbines go down into the sandy seabed below, which is what holds them up. I help to design protection which can be placed on the sand to prevent it from being washed away, which ensures that the wind farms don't fall over. My job varies a lot from day to day, so some days I'm writing computer programs to carry out calculations looking at the speed at which the sand might remove. Other days I'm creating graphs and maps uh, which we share our results with companies responsible for building the wind farm. And other days I might be in the laboratory where we create scaled down versions of the wind farms on which we can conduct different experiments. I will be answering your questions about my job during STEM Clubs Week, which is starting on Monday, the 22nd of June. Please email in your questions to stemclubs at stem.org.uk or leave them in the comments below. I look forward to answering your questions. I'm, uh, I'm Andrew and I'm an agricultural engineer. My job involves developing new land coming out of the sea so that poor farming families can, in Bangladesh, can settle there and grow food. I'll be answering questions about my job during STEM Club Week starting Monday, 22nd June. Email in your questions to stemclubs at stem.org.uk or leave them in the comments. See you later. Hi, my name is Carol Whitehead and I'm a senior research technician at the University of York. My job involves studying plants and the chemicals they produced and how they are useful for, to us. In the past, I've worked on projects involved in the biofuel industry, looking at wheat straw and um, barley straw, as well as sugar cane, and how we can convert those straws into biofuels. Currently, I'm working on a project that looks at catnip and the chemicals produced within catnip and how these chemicals have evolved over time. I am looking forward to answering all your questions during STEM Club Week starting Monday the 22nd of June. Please email your questions to stemclubs at stem.org.uk or add them to the comments below. Hi, my name's Frankie and I am a graduate air quality consultant and I work for an environment consultancy called ACON. My job involves me working on site doing air quality monitoring work to see what air quality is like around the country for pollutants such as nitrogen dioxide, sulphur dioxide and particulate matter including dust. My job also involves me working in the office doing modelling for predictions about future air quality under certain scenarios such as what if this road or housing estate gets built or how does a certain type of industry, such as a power station, affect local air quality? I then write all my findings into reports. I'll be answering your questions about my job, which can include questions about air quality in general or how I came to work in the job I did, during STEMS Club Week starting Monday the 22nd of June. Email in your questions to stemclubs at stem.org.uk or please leave them in the comments. Thank you. Hi, my name's Catherine and I'm a spacecraft thermal engineer in RAL Space. Normally I look at the effect of the sun's heat on our instruments, but instead for the transition project I'll be looking at the effect of this heat on vegetables in India. Currently 40% of vegetables grown in India never make it from the farms onto people's plates, which is something that we're hoping to reduce. I'll be working with an international team from the UK and India, both academics and farmers, to try and solve this problem. The team from RAL Space will be bringing our understanding of materials and the simple solutions that we use in the space industry in order to try and reduce food waste. I'll be answering questions about this during STEM Clubs Week. Email your questions to stemclubs at stem.org.uk and I'll answer them the week of the 22nd of June. 
Otherwise, comment below and we'll answer your questions as well. Hi, my name is Paul Houston and I am a commercial director for a company called SPL Powerlines. I've been working about 30 years. I started as a trainee quantity surveyor uh, when I was 18 years old. Um, I'm now responsible for the commercial management of my company, which involves quite a wide range of activities, uh, including bidding for new works, uh, negotiating terms and conditions with new clients, um, monitoring those projects when we are building uh, new power lines for both uh, railways and for the energy networks. And then I finish up those projects with negotiating the final commercial position with those clients, um, agreeing the final costs. You can ask me questions about my job uh, by posting comments below or you can send questions into STEM clubs at stem.org.uk and um, feel free to ask me whatever you want. Uh, hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a design engineer with Rolls-Royce. Uh, later this year I'm going to be rowing across the Atlantic Ocean uh, with four women from Bristol and uh, we're going to be doing that in a boat made from more sustainable materials including the core of the boat which is made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. Uh, I'll be answering your questions uh, during STEM Clubs Week starting on Monday the 22nd of June. Uh, if you can email your questions to stemclubs at stem.org.uk uh, or leave them in the comments below, um, that would be great. Thanks. Hello everyone, my name is Yadira Tejera Saldana and I'm a food scientist. Currently, I'm leading a wonderful not-for-profit organization in Canada to support and promote the production of agricultural products like meat using cells. I fell in love with cellular agriculture when I learned that we could obtain animal products such as meat, milk, and even leather without using animals. But maybe you're asking yourself, why is this so important? Well, let me explain you. By 2050, we will need to feed a population estimated to be 10 billion people. However, as the population increases, the demand of, for food, particularly meat, also increases. Scientists all over the world, through their research, have realized that the way that we're producing our food is contributing to climate change and also is causing loss of biodiversity because we need more farmland. Therefore, we really need to find other alternatives to produce our food without destroying the planet. It's just science. Do you want to learn more about how we can eat meat without needing a cold cow or a chicken nugget without needing a whole chicken? I'll be answering all your questions during STEM Clubs Week starting June 22nd. You can send your questions through email to stemclubs at stem.org.uk or just leave them in the comments below. See you then. Hi, my name is Josie Sherriston. I'm the environmental coordinator here at Tunstead Cement Works and I work for Tarmac Cement and Lime. Um, I look after everything environmental for the factory, so I look at making uh, changes to our fuel line to look for more sustainable solutions. Uh, we're trying to reduce our uh, need for fossil fuels. Also looking at energy efficient equipment, so looking at reducing our energy consumption on motors. I look at permit compliance as well in legal legislation. And I also do a lot of extractive testing and testing for emissions and uh, discharges and things as well. So my job's really varied. I get to work with a lot of people. I get to work on a lovely factory like this. And I get to work with a natural habitat as well. So I will be here on Monday the 22nd to answer your questions. You can email your questions to stemclubs at stem.org.uk. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care and keep safe. Bye. Hi everybody, I'm Natalia Falagan and I'm a plant scientist at Cranfield University. 
My job involves me analyzing the safety and quality of fruit and vegetables. I'll be answering all your questions during STEM Clubs Week, starting on the 22nd of June. So please send all your questions to STEM Clubs at stem.org.uk or leave them in the comments. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Nick Giles and I'm a public health above ground drainage engineer. I work for Hawley in our Bournemouth office located in Ferndown. My job involves me designing above ground drainage systems for buildings and projects across the United Kingdom and Europe. I work alongside architects, civil engineers, structural engineers, various specialists and then with clients and contractors to ensure that our proposed developments that we're working on have services designed to a high level of quality, detailed considering the environment and the current regulations for sustainable construction. I work in the office. I utilise digital engineering software, however I also frequently commute to London and other cities for meetings, workshops and site attendance and monitoring. I'll be taking part in the STEM Clubs week and I'll be streaming with questions and answers on Monday the 22nd of June. Hopefully talk to you then.